what is up y'all welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day this is married to medicine season six episode seven out of commission what we picked up from the last episode um it is two hours later and contessa is getting out of surgery um she looks pretty good she's in a lot of pain of course but um she is happy that she did this surgery because she has a greater chance to get cancer because her mother had cancer, so she's happy that she kind of tackled it before it became an issue. So Contessa goes home, and she's going into her bedroom, and the kids come. Now, the kids don't know anything that happened, don't know the girl had surgery, so they're, like, jumping all over her, especially that little one. She is a little too vibrant, too active for me. I don't really like kids that are all over the place, but she is, like, jumping on her mama and stuff like that. And her daughter, her oldest daughter, came in, and she's a little older, so Contessa could tell her certain things. But when she came in, um, she asked Contessa how she was feeling, and Contessa told her the parts that she had done. And she said, well, I have to do that when I get older, too. And Contessa told her no, even though... Because it's an elective surgery, she probably won't... She probably won't won't have to do it, but because cancer runs in their family, Contessa is kind of afraid that this will happen to her daughter, that cancer will be a threat to her daughters. So she didn't want to tell her yes because you don't want to tell a little girl something like that. So she told her no, but deep down she's afraid that it spreads to them. So it's two days after the surgery and Contessa is up. She looks better. Even though she's in pain, she is trying to get things together because she is having some house guests. And Mariah and Dr. Jarrett stopped by. Now, when I first saw Dr. Jarrett, all right, I thought her hair looks, ugh. I love a blonde. I love blonde and it looks so good on her. Her hair looks so good. She's a dentist. That um, That's what Contessa said. And they went to college together. So is Jared her first name or her last name? Because they keep calling her Dr. Jared. Is this required by Miss Jared? Because they don't call Heavenly Dr. Heavenly all the time. They don't call her that. They call her Heavenly. But in a professional setting, they may call her Dr. Heavenly. They may call Dr. Simone Dr. Simone, Simone in a professional setting. So why is it that we're calling this lady Dr. Jared in this woman's house? I just found that to be odd. And is Jared her first name or her last name? I found all this odd, but I like I like I like your your hair, girl. I love your hair. Alright, so Dr. Jared heavily come over. Not heavily, Lord. So, Dr. Jarrett and the Heavenly... Why are you saying Heavenly? Dr. Jarrett and Mariah came over to see how Contessa's doing. Apparently, Contessa sent out texts and um, calls after the surgery because she didn't want anybody to, I guess, be worried about her. She wanted to make sure that everything was done before she told people. She said she didn't even tell her brother and sister. So, she um, contacted everybody in Mariah Mariah and Dr. Jarrett came over and they were just talking to her about how she's doing and um, Contessa said that she had her implants done. She just had it done at one time because um, um, sometimes when you wait for reconstructive surgery, you just, I don't know, I guess you just feel out of place and she said that she wanted to continue to feel like a woman and you know, I can't imagine me not having my boobs. I mean, my boobs are like, hell, I would love to reduce my shit but I can't even imagine not having them, especially, you know, when something so damaging like a surgery or a cancer or something like that takes your boobs from you. Not having them, I'm assuming that it's quite an adjustment. So she went ahead and had the reconstructive surgery right after she took out her um, tissue. So she said that she's in pain. Um, she can't really do much. She can't go anywhere for about six weeks. And Mariah shared that she had her breast done and sometimes she's still in pain and her nipples are sensitive. I didn't I didn't give a shit about hearing about her nipples being sensitive. I just didn't care about that. I didn't. I didn't care. So I don't know why she felt like she needed to tell me. But whatever. So Dr. Jerry said that her and her husband just bought a house and um, they're having a housewoman party. So Contessa said that she couldn't come. So I'm assuming Dr. Jerry is going to be one of the new um, wives on the show. I'm assuming because why are we going to a party at her house? I don't really know. 
but I'm assuming she's gonna be one of them I don't really know but she seems like a nice lady her hair is cute all right so Dr. Heavenly gets back from Miami and she goes in the house and Dr. Damon is fiddling with his music he's DJ Dr. D I guess DJ Daddy D I don't really know but he's fiddling with his music and Heavenly is just as soon as she walks in the damn house Heavenly is fussing because he is working on his music he didn't greet her at the door she's standing up he's sitting down she she's mad that he's sitting down and she's standing up like Heavenly just fusses for no fucking reason even Dr. Damon said that shit you just come in the house fussing like what is wrong with you have you learned nothing so she's talking about her trip to Miami and she said that she she learned a lot about herself and she you know the thing with her dad she forgot about her dad dying in the house she forgot about her dad and I'm like all right I wasn't close to my father at all but there's not one day I forget that my dad is no longer with us and I understand she said that he was mostly in the military so she doesn't think about him but I would I don't know I just find it kind of odd that she said that she forgot about her father that's kind of odd to me but maybe that's just me y'all let me know did it was did it sound odd to y'all or that's just me I don't know but she told him that um, she learned a lot by herself and you know she's just she's trying to be a better person as heavily has been trying to be a better person for two seasons now I ain't took it but she's trying to be a better person so we'll see what happens and is it me <laughs> or do y'all get uncomfortable when he calls her buddy he always calls her he calls her buddy probably like three times in this scene alone and I'm like who calls their wife buddy like that's just that's just odd to me that is just so odd to me but that's just how their relationship is you know she's buddy and he's daddy oddest combination of things but you know what it works for them so i guess hooray all right y'all so dr jackie is at home in her booty shorts cleaning up the pollen in these atlanta streets one thing about atlanta let me tell you something. Pollen, it makes no sense to clean your car, your patio set, nothing. Because Atlanta pollen will kill you, okay? The second you wipe, 29 different forms of pollen just sticks to where the fuck you just wiped. Tell me I'm lying. If you live in Atlanta, if you live in Georgia, let me know if I'm lying or not. Because the pollen every season my allergies start piling it just covers every fucking thing everything everything so she's outside on her patio just wiping up this in this pile and then she will never get up and big ugly comes out so big ugly is her husband if you did not know curtis i think he is not attractive but that's just me i don't like ugly men all right <laughs> so curtis comes out and um you know he's asking her about her trip and everything like that she said that it was a really good trip and then she starts talking about well, no, actually, he said that um, while she was gone, their realtor sent him some houses for them to look at, but they were just not up to par. So apparently they want to move. Jackie feels like getting out of this, this cheating house is going to help her marriage and they can start new in a new house. Cheating does not reside in your house. Meaning, just because you move, that does not guarantee that he will never cheat again. Now, I don't know their circumstances. I don't know their situations. They seem to be on the right track. I don't know. But moving out of the house that your husband um, cheated while you were living in this house does not guarantee that he would not do it in the next. So I just thought that that reasoning, because the house y'all lived in, he cheated while y'all lived there is the reason for y'all to move. I don't really know. Sounded weird to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Alright, so Toya and Eugene. We are going to go back to this dream house of theirs every episode, apparently. Every episode, we're going to go back to this house. But they're back in their dream house. They're showing the kids the house. And the kids thought it was... I mean, from the frame that they have up, it's it's going to be a really big house. Beautiful. Probably it's going to be beautiful. It's Alpharetta. Um, so it's going to be a big house. And they're showing the kids around. Showing them where the bedroom's going to be. 
And Eugene said that the bedrooms are going to be above theirs. And Toya said, no, the bedrooms are going to be at the other side of the house because she's a, a bitch that screams when she's getting dicked down. And she does not want her children to hear her. And she put um, insulation so her screams can be muffled within their bedroom. Why does Toya feel like we need to know that? I don't need to see you and sweaty ass Eugene. Fuck it. I just don't need that in my mind. I do not need that visual in my mind. Okay. But anyway, so they're talking to the kids and the kids are, um, they're telling the kids that after they move in, well, not after they move in, once the, the, the school year is over, then they'll have to change schools because they'll be in a different school district. And the kids are not happy about that because they love their school. Their friends are going to be there. And Toya's a little concerned because when she was younger, she had to move around a lot because her parents were divorced. And she really didn't want that for her kids because she never really kept a lot of friends because she had to keep moving. I can tell why you didn't keep a lot of friends because of the person you are. But that's just my opinion. But anyway, she did not want to have her friends her kids experience that so Eugene is like any rational parent if they move they're gonna have to move to another school so they don't have to deal with it they will make friends it's rare that people still have friends that they had when they were in fucking kindergarten that's kind of rare because I don't remember half the people I went to kindergarten with so she you know he was like it's kind of rare so I mean once they get older they'll get new friends and everything like that so it's not a big deal calm down all right so we got quad in a horrible ass wig quad's wig game is just terrifying to me because she tries she really does but it just doesn't work it does not work she has it on the side with a huh it's just it, mm, quad girl if you need to call me okay you can contact me my email is below all right i make wigs all right please all right so quad <laughs> so quad is going out to lunch with her aunt and her mother you can tell that quad is just grasping at straws to find other people to film with because she she really don't want to film with the ladies like that. She's using her sister circle people and she's used now she's using her family. We have never seen her mama before. Don't her mama look like Payla Bell as she worked at the post office? Her mother reminds me of Payla Bell as she worked at the post office. Is it just me? It can't be just me. And they were talking about um, Quad's pending divorce. So Quad said that she did file for divorce and she moved out of the marital home because um, on her birthday they got into a big argument and she decided that she can't do this anymore. So Quad said that her aunt, her, her aunt was very vocal. She said that um, she contacted um, Dr. Greg many times and her family has talked to him and she's talked to him and she wanted to resolve their issues and work on their marriage. In my opinion, and I've told you guys this before, I do not think Quad wanted to work on this marriage. I think Quad, Quad did not want to be married to him. Quad married him, in my personal opinion, allegedly. In my personal opinion, Quad married him because he was a doctor. Once Quad married him and this whole marriage to medicine thing came up with Mariah and Quad got on and it took off, I think Quad realized that this was not where she wanted to be and she could get out of this godforsaken marriage because she didn't love the man anyway. Alright, so we got Simone and Simone is at the, I think it's the North House and she is with Michael and they are preparing dinner and um, Cecil and what's her son's name miles okay so cecil and miles come to the house and miles is back for the summer so they're having dinner and cecil said well because the kids are here and things are kind of working out with their relationship they probably need to learn how to uh, not learn but probably need to be in the same house and kind of move back in together and everybody be together and um Simone is not having that. Simone says she's been by herself for nine months. Her, her house is clean. She is at peace. She likes being by herself. Simone, it is obvious that your husband and your kids get on your nerves and you are not happy where you are. You want to stop by, say, hey, how you doing? Sit down and have a meal and go about your business. Go back to the North House. Maybe it's time you divorce this man because obviously it seems like you don't want to be in this marriage to me. I have never heard anybody say, well, I prefer not to live with my husband and my children because I like
like my house clean. These are grown fucking people. All right. Miles is almost out of high school. Not Miles. Miles is in college. Michael is almost out of high school and Cecil is a grown man. Okay, the kids for shit don't work, so he can be at home cleaning the house. So I don't really understand why you just can't live with your man and your hut and your kids. I just found that to be when she said that I was like, you don't want to have sex with him, you barely want to be affectionate to him, and now you're telling him I don't want to live with you and these kids. And then he's asking like, why is it an issue that? We want, I want us to live together as a family. And then she brought up that he's been going out a lot. What the fuck that got to do with the price of rice in China? Like when she said that, I was like, so you're just, you're just grasping at anything to make an excuse as to why you don't want to live with him? That didn't make sense. And he brought up, well, you've been going out too, which um, they showed pictures of them in Miami. So Michael became the mediator of the whole situation. And she said, cool, we'll all live together. That, I hope this is just for the show because you just don't seem like you want to be involved with these people. And if that's the case, just let Cecil go and find love somewhere else. Let that man go. Because it seems like you don't want him. It really seems like you don't want him. I have a friend that will fuck him. So just let me know if you don't want him and I will hook them up. Alright? You know I can get his number, right? Just saying. Alright, so Simone is getting ready for um, Dr. Jarrett's party and Cecil comes to pick her up. And uh, Simone has on this long sleeve polka dot black and brown top in these really short black shorts. The combination of the two didn't really mesh in my opinion. Like you got on long sleeve in the summertime, but you got on short shorts with some um, boots. It was kind of weird. She dresses weird to me. But um, she's getting ready to go to this party. He comes by. He sees her in the short shorts. And all Cecil want to do is have sex with his wife. That's all he wants. That is all he wants. But he was saying, let's skip the party. Let's let's get down. Let's get dirty. Let's let's have let's have some sex. And she just said, Well, I'm not gonna leave my friends there and not, you know, I won't disappoint my friends, but not coming. And he's like, Why are you Okay, your friends will be okay if you don't come. Again, girl, if you don't want him, let him go. Alright, so we're at Dr. Jarrett's house and I think her house is absolutely beautiful. I love the outside. The curb appeal of her house is gorgeous. I love it. I love her house. I love the white. Her house is so nice. Like, I loved her house. We're at Dr. Jarrett's house and um, Mariah and Aiden show up and he starts... I, was Aiden drunk? Aiden seemed like he was already lit before they got to the house. I don't really know. But Aiden started dancing, uh, dancing like George Jefferson. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. But his hair plugs were swinging every which way. And it just, it was very uncomfortable to watch, to watch, um, someone who is not African American try to do the George Jefferson walk. It was very odd. It was odd. Even Dr. Jerry's husband laughed because it was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I think Mariah was very embarrassed because it was just embarrassing to see. He seemed like he was drunk. I don't know. But anyway, so everybody's showing up. Um, Simone, Heavenly, everybody's coming. And Quad shows up. Quad shows up and everybody is taken aback because Quad actually came out. So everybody's having their side conversations and Toya was like, oh my God, like this is the second time I'm seeing you and you rarely come out. And Quad got really upset because it seems like Toya is digging at her and Toya ain't got shit else to do. She ain't got nothing to do. But she, she digs at people and she, to me, I found that as a dig towards Quad. We know that Quad does not come out a lot, but Quad is starting to come around. Why do you have to bring that up? So Quad told her to relax, which I am I'm very happy she told her to relax because she needed to relax the fuck down. So Simone went to the bar, Mariah went over to the bar, and Simone was a little upset that Quad told Toya to relax. So um, they started talking about Contessa and um, they are talking about the text that Contessa sent and Toya, Toya a little, 
I don't like this woman. Toya is upset that Contessa texted her, even though Contessa didn't need to text this bitch because they're not friends, as Jackie would say. But she is upset that Contessa texted her after the surgery and not before. So everybody is saying the same thing I'm saying, like, girl, you happy you got a text at all. You should be happy. She didn't have to text you. And she texts when she want to text. She didn't want people to worry about her. So she texts after. She texts everybody after. So you feel like you need to know before anything happens with anybody, they need to tell you first. Toya, go get a fucking job. Go get a hobby. Go knit. Go, go, like I told you, get on YouTube. Get a, create a YouTube channel. All right? Print hair bows. Do, do something with your time because you are worried about the wrong fucking things in life. And girl, I can see why people don't like you. Like you worry about the wrong things and you feel more important than you are. She didn't have to text you. You mad that she texted you after the fact. If she didn't text you at all, you would be mad at that. Like you're not friends with her. Okay, you walked out, you cussed the girl out, you got upset with her. Y'all are not friends. She didn't have to text you a damn thing. But she decided to because she's a grown ass bitch. And I don't mean to call you a bitch or a doctor. And I, you know, I appreciate you. But she didn't have to text you, girl. Like, what is your problem? Go get a job. Get a job. Go work at Kroger. All right? Go greet at Walmart. People are hiring. The economy is getting back up. Okay? Thanks to Obama. Go do something with your life. Start an online business, girl. Sell hair. Do something. So some of the husbands and wives are sitting together and Heavenly starts talking. You know, she's a relationship guru and she's a licensed relationship coach and whatever she tries to do with her online certificate she got. But she's talking to Simone about her relationship with Cecil. And she tells him um, in a marriage, um, people need to have respect for one another. And sex is one of one of the important things as well. And Simone does not agree because you know Simone does not want to have sex with him. But Cecil agrees with it. So she asks Dr. Damon, and you know Dr. Damon, I don't like to get into my friend's business. I don't want to talk about that in front of my friends in the public. I don't know why she asked me anything. It's like watching paint talk. That's what it is. It's like watching paint talk. So Jackie and Quad are talking and Jackie is asking her how she's doing. Quad is asking her, you know, how is she and Curtis doing? And Jackie said they're doing a lot better. They're working on their marriage and everything like that. And Quad is basically telling her, you know, things are done. Like she is, it's, it's hard. It's been hard. We know it's hard, girl. It's hard, but she's kind of fed up. But in the middle of talking to her, I noticed that Quad is still wearing the ring. Alright, so all the ladies in the men go outside to talk and um, Aiden, drunk ass, Aiden had to have been drunk, I'm sorry, the boy was on the sauce, um, he decides to ask Quad where Dr. Greg is. How the fuck would Quad know that? Everybody wants to know, how would she know that? Even Mariah is telling him to shut up, but Aiden is continuously talking because Aiden is inebriated. Aiden is drunk boobs. Aiden is two sheets to the motherfucking wind. Alright, so he's continuously asking, why can I ask her what Dr. Greg is? Everybody's here. Dr. Greg is my friend. But why are you asking this woman who just filed for divorce where her soon-to-be ex-husband is? She said, I don't, I don't know where he is. Why would I know? I don't know. So the fellas get up because Aiden is now in trouble with his wife. So the fellas get up and leave and go into the other room. Alright, so Jackie asked Toya, how can they reconnect as a girl group? And Toya starts talking about Quad. That was not the question. But she started talking and referencing Quad. And Quad, um, first of all, was taken back like, are you talking directly to me? And Toya, of course, Toya says whatever she says. And Quad is, I think she's taking this time to tell the ladies exactly what's happening. But... In the middle of her talking, Mariah keeps interrupting her. And um, Quad would say something, Mariah would interrupt. Quad would stop. And then Quad would start again, Mariah would interrupt. And Mariah is making faces and 
I don't know what Mariah's thing is. It's like she purposefully starts issues with Kwai while they're out. I don't know if it's because... I think, you know what I think it is? I think that she knows Quad likes to be the center of attention. And I think when Quad starts talking and talking about what's going on, Mariah interjects because she still constantly has that battle with Quad. Mariah wants to be, look at me, look at me. Quad is also, look at me, look at me. So when they're in the same room, they're both battling to be the center of attention. And I think that's what it was. was. And Quad even said the same thing too. So Quad is getting in her feelings and Quad basically shuts down. She doesn't want to really talk because who wants to have a conversation and somebody is talking over you and interrupting every time you talk? So Mariah, of all things, she asks Heavenly, does Heavenly think that she was interrupting quad and heavenly heavenly is trying to approach mariah in a different way she does not want to be um i guess rude to her or say things to her even though mariah is a bitch that's what she said her words not mine but um she mariah did ask heavenly does she think that she's interrupting quad while she is trying to get her feelings out and heavenly tiptoed around it but heavenly did say yeah you are kind of interrupting her she's trying to talk but you are saying things and heavenly said that she um she doesn't really know how to deal with women so she is based on her trip she is learning how to be a better person and learn to talk to women a little differently because she does come off a little harsh so that was where the episode ended it was it was a cute episode it was it was interesting i like I don't know if Dr. Jerry is going to be a, a house, not a housewife, a um, part of the show. I don't really know. And um, is Jared her first name or her last name? That is one of the questions I have. I could probably Google it, but I don't care that much. But anyways, just let me know what you thought about the episode. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to click like for this video. And do not forget to check out my website, justbeher.com. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.